Hello my dear students, welcome back to the lecture. So now we are all set to see the practical videos of this entire bridge construction. Okay. So this is how the uh, foundation was done. Right now, whatever I am showing you, this is the time where I had gone to that particular construction site. Okay. So the PCC was already done. You can see the PCC beneath this and uh, you can see the footing. This was done in two days. That first day they did the casting up to here. So this is a rough foundation what we have which was a 300 mm. Okay. Beneath that we have a, a PCC and this abutment what we have hmm? and here they are pressing the concreting and you can see those uh, pipes also the drainage pipe which has been put up there so after that uh, they started with uh, casting of uh, pier and the abutment all this casting had happened by the time I reached there but from here onwards whatever videos I am going to show you everything will be step by step so I didn't have a video for that not an issue maybe in future when I get some other bridges I'll try to add that how this particular abutment will be constructed but the concept remains the same the reinforcement has to be taken and uh, like uh, in the culvert if you remember if you remember I had explained you the culvert part right in the culvert also they had put abutment so when you do the shuttering first shuttering will be done up to this layer and this uh, this shuttering will be placed in an inclined way and then the next uh, shuttering will be placed and when you place the shuttering you'll be inserting a uh, pipe into that so that it will be acting as a weep holes we call it as a weep holes and then we know what is the use of this wall okay w uh, use of this particular hole and then this is a uh, abutment cap what we are trying to construct okay you got an idea right say again how uh, see everything will not happen simultaneously first the abutment is done here other people will be trying to put a cap on this this is a, a pier cap what they, what they are trying to put here it is called as abutment cap okay so in this way the reinforcement will be done So these people are uh, ready uh, for the concrete to take uh, inside this uh, abutment cap. So this depth we had seen in the drawing it was 300 mm. Now the concrete has come. We are placing the concrete into this uh, abutment cap. Okay. So this is a kind of a mixer where everything can be done uh, in the same uh, mixer. I mean the batching can be done in the mixer itself. It's going to rotate and then it's going to pour the concrete. Okay. So it's almost a 2 m cube of a mixer what we have. Yeah. I'll go a bit forward. Uh, so in this way the concrete pouring will happen you can see the concrete is being poured isn't it and also you have to make sure you are putting a vibrator and this is the inside of that uh, abatement cap So this is that uh, complete details of the bridge 
and next we are going to do the casting of this pier so this one layer one this is done next we'll try to go with this particular layer these people are started with the bar bending work and all and they are trying to fix the shuttering and all yeah so again this is going on i'll go a bit forward this is understood for us so this is the pier cap what we have so once you do the casting of this then we'll do the deshuttering of this and then finally uh, entire pier casting will be done so here i mean we are going in a step by step process okay so here it is done next they'll remove the shuttering board then they'll do the casting of this so in this way step by step here already pier cap is supposed to be casted here also the abutment cap is getting casted so in this way uh, all the things are being done simultaneously you can see the previous bridge over there this is our previous bridge uh, this is no more in use now so one thing we need to understand from this lecture is everything is in stages like excavation the pcc the raft will be done after raft will do this pier after that this pier will come and then the pier cap is going to come okay so this is how the sequence of construction happens so if you understand that rest things is normal concreting what we did for the buildings and all yeah so finally most of the things we have done yeah you can see here the casting of uh, pier cap also happened and here uh, this particular casting is supposed to happen for the abutment cap this is al almost done so once this is done we'll do the deshuttering of this So this uh, height is uh, 300 mm. Okay, this height it is mentioned in the drawing. It has to be 300 mm. For it is for this part it is not done. So when we reach to this part, we'll put a shuttering. Once this is casted, no. Once this is casted, we'll put a shuttering here. And then access bar we have to cut off. You may think that where this access bar will go. This access bar whatever we have, maybe this will be a lever where we are going to cut it off. We are going to cut this access bar and this portion will be your pier cap got it so this is how it is supposed to be done yeah so you can see it here no this is how the reinforcement has been arranged here and this excess portion will be uh, cutting it down so this is done here here the pier cap will be done yeah you can see here this concreting is done today and hmm? maybe the videos are uh, like uh, they're not in a sequence but uh, i hope you are able to get lot of uh, understanding through these lectures how the sequence of construction you can see this guy is having that uh, grind uh, grinding machine with him through that he is trying to cut all this excess rebar hmm? So in this way all the pier has been casted so this is my abutment which has already casted we have seen the abutment casting also okay so you can see the top level of that so again in the abutment casting also it's the same thing first uh, your this thing pcc then the raft will happen then this will happen up to this stage then this will happen once this happens uh, then uh, we are going to cast this part and once this casting is done next what we do we'll try to put a slab on that portion okay yeah yeah so i put a image here now you got an idea right so if i try to uh, keep two images together let me try to do that yeah let me see if i can do that yeah, it's possible yeah now you got an idea complete idea you get so this portion whatever you can see it is 300 mm so this will be 300 this is that sloping portion this is that sloping portion now further it is divided okay from here we have taken 75 mm and from here to here this is how much from here to here this portion it is 0 0.80 then this is 1 meter and this is 1.15 you're getting my point and this is 1 meter 
this portion will be 1 meter for me from here to here yeah this is 1 meter got it and just that small triangular portion you can see this is 1.15 this is 1.15 and this portion it is okay i mean this is 0.75 this is that outer portion okay yeah, this is 0.75 and this is 1.15 you're getting my point great so this is 0.3 and this height now whatever we are supposed to do this casting also once this casting is done we have a beam which is put up here so that height whatever we are supposed to do is 75 mm i mean uh, 0.75 meter which is 750 mm got it great so i hope you have got lot of understanding through this uh, explanation we'll move forward again yeah so you can see a lot of water is coming so what we have done is because even though we have created a lot of barrier a coffer dam has been created sometime water comes through there so we have created a small uh, pit here and from through pump we'll try to dewater it from here right and through dewatering you can see we are giving the water back to this particular area hmm? yeah great so i hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here we got an idea like how all these things are being constructed in a sequence way on practically on the side so in the next lecture we'll try to see a few other things how the dex lab will be erected and all and we'll try to understand them one by one we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you